Hey guys, Wolf D1911 here. Just to give you a quick update on some stuff that I've been doing, and I have a a quick unboxing of something here that I received in the mail today. It's just the bill here, and what could it be? It's a shirt. All right. Let's see, nice shirt here. And I ordered this shirt from Pete at the Armory Channel. If you have not checked out Pete's YouTube channel yet, you don't know what you're missing. Pete's a great guy, he's got great videos. If you're you're really into guns, ammo, and all the stuff that I'm into, uh, you're gonna really enjoy Pete's channel here you just go on YouTube the armory channel the rear of the shirt now, how cool is that 100 years still on duty 1911 to 2011 great shirt very nice it's a gildan heavy cotton and again that's the front very nice shirt thanks Pete appreciate it he's actually got another shirt coming out next month it's a second amendment shirt that i plan on ordering too and again if you haven't watched any of pete's videos uh you're missing out well make sure you check out the armory channel on youtube you're gonna really enjoy it okay second thing i just wanted to talk to you guys about i'm in the process of um looking into selling some taxidermy stuff I have a friend of mine who's in the process of selling his his collection of um, big game animals nor uh, North American big game animals uh, he's got uh, a fully stuffed black bear um, cinnamon uh, black bear he's got a uh, Kodiak bear from Alaska and all these animals that he has, uh, he he took himself. So I'm going to be put, you know, putting together a video with all those animals, and and I'll be pricing them out for you. If anybody's interested in purchasing uh, these, you know, you can get a hold of me um, with through my email address. But I'm going to put together a whole video. I just wanted to. Uh, just bring that up to you if anybody's interested in in big game animals you know already stuffed ready to go uh, great quality uh, great looking animals there's uh, there's a couple uh, mountain lions doll sheep mule deer um, tons of stuff um, if you're interested you know just shoot me a quick email or if you know somebody or, or possibly uh, you know a gun shop or a hunting store that may be interested just you know shoot me a quick email and uh, you know we'll go from there but probably within the next week or so I'll have a full video up on all the animals and uh, and all the pricing and everything else uh, he's in the process of, of downsizing and these animals take up the majority of his house so um, it's time for him to move on so we're going to uh, to make a really big concerted effort to uh, to sell some of these these quality animals so if you're interested you know I'll put my email address below this video and like I said within a week or so I'll have up a full video showing all the animals and uh, and all the pricing so all right um, let me see big score I got a big score I was able to pick up 25 boxes of Hornady Varmint Express 223 ammunition for my AR. These are molly coated, 55 grain, 3,250 feet per second. Really, really nice looking ammunition. I can't wait to give this a round, uh, give this round a shot through my AR. Um, 25 boxes, basically got a really good, really good deal on this. And um, if I could have picked up more, I would have. You know, it's still kind of hard to find ammunition around here. 
Um, 22 ammunition, believe it or not, is scarce. Um, in my area, so is 9mm. Uh, everything else seems to be, you know, you could find it every now and then, but that 22 caliber, 22 long rifle, and 9mm is just very difficult to find. So, um, what I decided to do in the meantime is just go with my single action revolvers. Um, I load up for those 38 specials and 45 Colt. I was at the range today, put uh, a couple hundred rounds through each of them, um, through the the Black Hawk here, and through the uh, Vaccaro. Right, the Vaccaro is uh, is a 38 357. The Black Hawk is in 45 Colt. So um, by putting all that ammunition through them, you know what that means, right? It's time to clean them. So. And start just by taking this cylinder out. Doesn't look too bad considering I was shooting 250 grain lead out of there. And if anybody owns revolvers, especially stainless steel or a nickel, you know what's entailed in trying to clean the face of the cylinder. Um, both of these, these guns are stainless. The, the Vaccaro is uh, is a bright polished stainless. The Black Hawk is a brushed stainless. Uh, for years I had a, a cleaning cloth that I got from Midway. I must have had it for 20 years. And I ran out of it. And I was just able to find today um, in one of my local gun shops this lead-free gun cloth. I know uh, a couple folks on um, made some comments on my cleaning video on the Ruger on the Vaccaro and uh, we were you know trying to find these lead free cloths and basically what that does it's a it's a cloth that will remove all that black carbon and soot from your cylinder face and it's going to make it look like new once you're done so this one here um, I've used this before um, a couple weeks ago when I when I shot the Vaccaro and it worked really well. This one is by uh, Pro Shot Products in Taylorville, Illinois. So uh, if you're looking for this type of cloth to clean your your revolvers, your stainless steel, or your nickel, this is uh, maybe something you want to try. So it's uh, ProShotProducts.com if you can't find it at your local gun shop or, or or wherever you do your shopping for your gun supplies. Um, so we'll give it a shot with this. Like I said, I've used it before and it works pretty, pretty good. The cylinder faces clean up really nice. All right, guys, well, I'm not going to bore you with the going through uh, the revolver cleaning um, in this video. But what I was mostly wanted to show you was the shirt that I received from the Armory Channel and again just mentioned the um, the taxidermy project that I'm working on um, and I will put together a, a whole vid on that so if anybody's interested just uh, just let me know if you know somebody who's interested let me know um, good quality an animals and um, I said I'll have that video up in a week or so alright guys that's it just that quick update I don't want to make this too long and again, if you haven't already, check out Pete at the Armory channel. He's got uh, some really good videos. He's a knowledgeable guy. You'll enjoy his channel. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'm out.